Hey guys, it's Kathy from Kathy Director, and in this Cinema 4D tutorial, I want to go show you how you can make a studio infinite background, and yeah, have fun. Okay, let's go and start. For that, we go and click on up top here, go create a flow, also go hold on over there and create a background so now we have already a flow in a background if we go and render that it wouldn't look that like nothing so let's go and create a material for that go to create new material and double click there so here you go and check off specula and then you go to color and go and hit the texture so we go and create a gradient then you double click into the texture so you can change the gradient from the type you change to 2d circular go to the white tab from the outside so make it a bit so maybe light grayish yeah like uh, let me see like that and the top in the middle you go to a lighter gray than the outsides so now we have that we go and apply this to the background also go and apply this to the floor so now you can sh see you can get some square weird looking things here to change that you go and click on the texture form from the floor and change the tag here you go to projection and change from flat to frontal so to make it all together as one you go and click on the floor so right click cinema for details and go to compositing there you have it now very important here is you go to the tag section and go and change compositing background and make a check it's really important if it look like that so nothing special but so we will go and change this soon for that, first of all, I will go change my render settings. For that, I go up here, adding render settings. Okay, in the render settings, you go to effect and ambient occlusion. Then, you just changing in anti-aliasing. You go anti-aliasing, change from geometry to best. And that's that. When we render this out now, it should be awesome white. So, there's not much stuff here. So, for then, we go and create a cube. Uh, let's go scale this down a bit then we creating two lights so one two and here I will go change the coordinates to X to 1000 also change the Z to 1000 and the Y to 1000 so I know it's in the top right corner it's over here the second light you want to have on the right uh, well on the left side so change the x to minus 1000 and uh, the y to 1000 and the z minus 1000 all right so we got this both lightings make it maybe like that and rendered oh my god it looks so much better i really hope you liked this tutorial i would appreciate it if you go and give it a like maybe comment down below and if you have suggestions for other tutorials let me know in the comments when you want to see more and don't want to miss it go and subscribe and i really hope i see you next time and see you bye